All right, when a bear gets lost in the woods, most people never notice. But in Davidson County, one black bear has become the talk of the neighborhood. So we sent Chris Conti on the hunt to find out where he came from. What makes this bear sighting so unusual is that Middle Tennessee doesn't actually have a bear population, but whoever this guy or girl is, has apparently made themselves at home. It's really quiet out here. On the eve of Halloween, something was lurking deep in the woods of Davidson County today. You just kind of be aware. Tony Ray Jones sees plenty of wildlife from his front porch on Hunter's Lane. Ironic, perhaps, that the entirety of this street is on the hunt to catch a glimpse of their new neighbor. When you go to look for the bear, it's never going to be there. You know. Bear with Tony here. He hasn't seen it himself, but trail cameras this weekend captured the black bear on the move in Nashville all alone. Normally, wouldn't they go in like pairs? And I don't know. I don't know anything about bears. We have to be accountable to the public. Fortunately, Barry Cross at the TWRA does. That we really haven't had a bear this close to the metropolitan Nashville. Barry wants residents to know that this guy is opportunistic. Open trash cans or dog food left out, he'll find it. He's doing bear things. He's uh, staying out in the woods. Uh, he's not uh, uh, obviously coming in contact with people. To us, the bear might seem lost, but to the bear at this point in the year, He's just looking for a place to hibernate. Bears don't know county lines. They don't know state lines. Uh, this one, uh, we're pretty sure, came from Kentucky. Pretty big bear. I'd say, what, 300 pounds, maybe? At least 300 pounds. Uh, has to be. And while he may bear no resemblance to the other wildlife here, he may also be here to stay. So I'm going to be watching out. Because this is so unusual, TWRA officials want to remind folks that there is no bear hunting here in Middle Tennessee. In the woods of Davidson County, Chris Conti, News Channel 5.